just three minutes now before we get underway. Let's take a look at some of these interviews that we had with the athletes. I think we mentioned some of the stuff with Jordan Dela Cruz. She mentioned that she's been focusing on developing and channeling force production right past the knee. So if she's strong off the floor, has a tendency to slow down just as she goes past the knee before a powerful finish. So I think developing force just past the knee. Max, as a, as a coach, you know, you've, you've dealt with plenty of athletes. You've also been a coach of uh, a world-level athlete in this category. Um, when we see someone talking about developing force past the knee, what are the sorts of exercises that they might be uh, deploying in their training? Yeah, my guess would be they're probably doing some kind of strength exercises above the knee or possibly doing some, some block work or hang work, you know, above the knee. Mm -hmm. Everybody slows down. The bar decelerates as you make that transition past the knee, and, and the less deceleration you have, the better. So athletes are always working on that coordination, and in her case, obviously, trying to build some strength there. But I would not be surprised to see her do some, some block work. We've right. seen a lot from her coach, and, and if you follow her social media, uh, some interesting complexes and, and other assistance exercises that they do. Yeah. Yeah, I saw her in the training hall recently, a few days ago, uh, doing some pause back squats, squatting right down, sitting there, you know, not for one second, but maybe for, for three seconds, and then coming up with 123, I think it was. Uh, pretty strong legs. The strongest legs here, though. Actually, I'm not so sure. You know, oddly enough, for somebody whose clean and jerk is a little lower, Mahela Kambe, I've seen her back squat 150 kilos. It's triple body weight. Yeah, wow. Know? Yeah, that's very strong. Yeah, there's also another Thai athlete who isn't here. She didn't compete in the 45s. She's not here in the 49s, but she is here at this competition. She's a 49, and we just saw her back squat at 160 kilos in the training hall which wow. is 13 kilos over triple body weight. She doubled 150. It's the most impressive squat that we've seen at this World Championships by... Anybody. Uh, yeah, but yeah by one times body weight. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, it's absolutely unbelievable. Yeah, you know, we haven't seen a lot of those huge squatting numbers that we've seen from years past mm -hmm. in the training hall. In fact, there's a lot of different training going on in these training halls. We've seen that before... You know, it used to be a little bit more traditional. You see a lot of just snatch, clean, and jerk, and front squat, all very heavy. And now you're seeing a bit more, I'd say, variety, you know. Definitely seeing a lot more clean front squat jerk yeah. uh, this time around. Yeah, absolutely. 30 seconds now until the opening attempt. Looks like we're going to see Ramos from the Philippines come out. 98 kilos she has written in right now. So we've got just a few seconds till this first lift goes. Wow, okay, so Ramos bumped up. <laughs> That's technically bringing out Mahela. Wow. But I just saw in the live feed of the back room and she was on the bar. So she's not ready to come out with 100 kilos. So she's going to bump up. She'd have to bump pretty far, though. Yeah. She'd have to bump at least three kilos or so. But three kilos could but give her another three, four minutes. Maybe, yeah, I mean, maybe she's going to come out time. at 105. You never know. You know, she's at, oh, she's, yeah, 104. Okay, she's moved up. She's made quite a bit of progress in the cleaning jerk. She's opening there. So back to Ramos. Well, you say that, I mean... She opened within two kilos right. of her best snatch, and she's going to do the same now on the clean yeah. jerk. So That's true. That well, seems to be about par for the course for her. Ramos is the lifter, though. Uh, we just received word from the back room. Kambe Mahela is at 65. Okay. So she's still got to do a bit of work to speed up to catch yeah. up. For, she you know, 104 could be in three attempts time. Yeah, she could take big jumps. She does train quite quickly, so... We'll see. Here's a hundred for Ramos, her opening attempt. This will be hole. a one kilo personal best. A great opener. Yeah. You know, very strong, has a little bit slower, more, uh, you know, not, not so explosive on the pull there, yeah. but 
she has plenty of power and a lot of speed catching that weight. So, yeah, She does have a very similar jerk to Hardland Diaz. Mm. And we often see that athletes in the same country, whether it's because you know she now has the same coach, she's being coached by Julius, or maybe it's, I don't know, maybe it's an anatomical thing, but you, you do notice similarities in, in yep. technique between these different countries. Yeah, it's such a beautiful lockout too. Bars behind the head, the yeah. elbows are just perfectly locked. So I don't think that Mahela and her team are at all worried about coming out because she's still at 65. She just took it again. So maybe they know that they're going to be going even heavier yeah. and bumping up from that 104. If she was in a rush, they would have moved her up already. That's an aggressive opener, unless she's made a lot of progress. Yeah. Here's 101 from Cheng Jinglin. Tough stand up there. She did that same thing, collapsing in on the right hand side. Oh, the bottom of that dip was a yeah. little bit shaky. But a very strong lockout. <laughs> it's a good yeah. lift. Yeah, a tougher opener than I think they'd like. But we'll see if that was just I've a I've seen that from her before, from yeah. Chen Jinglin. I've seen her at Asian Championships and thought, gosh, that does look tough. But she goes for it. Now, something that I've just thought of, and I don't want to talk too much about the battle for bronze, but Kambe opening up 104, the real competitor for that bronze medal slot is Kambao from Thailand. She's three kilos ahead of Kambao in the snatch, but Kambao ha does have a stronger clean jerk. She's opening at 105. So Mahela might be just pushing that opening clean jerk just a touch, just to try and stay within an attempt maybe of yeah. what Kambao can do and try and... Uh, maintain that lead. That makes a lot of sense. You know, you potentially have De La Cruz in there as well. She's got ADH. She's only two kilos behind Cambe, yeah. and she's a very strong clean and jerker. As a 53, I believe she did 116. She's done about 111, I think. Mm -hmm. So this could be a battle here for, for bronze for sure. Ramos 102. Oh, much better clean yeah, than really the first. Nice. And look at this lockout. Oh. Just comfortable all yeah. around. That jerk is so yeah. know, defiant. It's yeah. just like she just puts it there and, you know, it doesn't cause her any problems. She doesn't allow that to cause her any issues. Yeah, absolutely perfect there. Jordan De La Cruz has just hit 90 kilos in the back room. 103 written in. No doubt she'll jump up from there. She won't be out in two attempts time. Zhang Hui Hua is having what is being described as a seated power nap. <laughs> uh, she's sat there, towel overhead, eyes closed. And, uh, you know, I've been in the back room um, of several world championships for different categories, and it, it's a tactic that you see from some of the top lifters. You know, I've seen uh, lifters from Armenia, from Uzbekistan, just lie down. Their coaches will yeah. place three towels on top of them, one over their legs, one them their waist, and one over their face and they close their eyes, and they're there for 15 minutes, just body staying really warm, but trying to just be as calm as possible. So Open attempt now, 103. She didn't make a snatch at 80. They were close. Very strong clean. Wow. Squat jerk as well. We didn't expect it. Yep. That but was we love good, to see though. It. That was one of the more... Comfortable yeah. uh, looking squat checks I think we've seen in a while. Yeah, she moved under the bar very quickly, was locked out well. Did we see three attempts yesterday in the squat jerk? Yeah. They were, all, were they all missed? Yeah, none, none were six. Uh, I believe they were unsuccessful. Yeah, I think they were all misses. Um, Jordan, supposedly the next athlete out. At I'd be 103 surprised kilos. If she takes that 103, though. Yeah. Mahela, still at 85, so she has no uh, plans of coming out at 104. Zhang Hui Hua is still on the barbell. Now, Max, I think I'm right in saying this. Perhaps your memory is better than mine. I believe Zhang Hui Hua took an attempt at the world record last year at the World Championships. I have memory of her going for 120. Two reds. Yeah, she got I, under I it. I do think she I did. I think yes. she even cleaned it and missed the jerk. The, she's still on the bar right now. She's in joint first. Well, technically silver, but, you know, numerically she's joint first at 95. 
120, it's got to be in the back of her mind, reclaiming that uh, world record from Well, there's the total Mirabai. record as well. She'd be in striking distance of that, yeah, too. Yeah, absolutely. That's uh, 213. Her best is 212. Here's Rira Suzuki's opening attempt now at 103. Oh, a little Ooh. forward. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that was just a, a, an error, I think. That was just an that error. Was a strength no, issue. No, no. That's one of those things with the clean. If you're forward, there's not a lot you can do. If yeah. you get that first bounce and you're coming up with it, you better get up quick and take a step forward. Yeah, Otherwise, exactly. you, that's going to happen. Yeah, you don't really have any option there because that bar is on your chest. There's nowhere to go. You can't just tip your chest forward to get your no. center of mass under the bar. There's a lot less room to play with than in the snatch when the bar's forward or back. We'll see if she repeats this. She's got a two-minute clock. She'll be the next lifter at 103. She'd go to 104 possibly by time, but uh, you know, Kambe and Reichert could move above that as well. Jordan has moved up. Jordan De La Cruz from the U.S. has moved up to 106. I think she was on 103. Haley Reichardt's in at 104. Kambe 105. Kambe 104. It's Kambe versus Kambe for bronze, I think, in this competition, and it's Ji Hui versus Hui Hua for looks like gold we just and silver. Kambe take 95. Yeah, 95 loaded. We can see on the bottom right hand yeah. corner she of our screen. She's being cooled down now with the towel. Made that very strong. It's warm. It, it's not. It's not too warm here. I mean, there's a lot of air con inside the building. You know, it's actually nice. They haven't turned it up super high. No. Sometimes it's a little bit too chilly. Yeah. But I think this is perfect for the athletes. Jordan has just made 98 kilos in the warm-up room, which sounds about right for a 106 opener. Maybe one more lift in the back, and then she'll be out. Rira Suzuki, 103. 106, that's a very, very big opener, right? That's pretty high, yeah, yeah. 106. I mean, the American record's 112. Yeah, it's up there. Let's see if Rira can make the adjustment here on the clean to get up with this one. That's yeah, it. much better clean, obviously. Very strong. It's a wonderful <laughs> jerk. It's a great yeah. lift, 103. She looks like she was maybe uh, struggling there a bit with consciousness. Mm. A real shame to have missed that opening. That's such a silly miss. That's probably the sort of miss that she's not made for a long yeah. time. It's just frustrating, too, because it's not a strength issue. No. It's just a fluke. Yeah, her technique is so well drilled. It could even be a... You know, when you get to a competition and there's nothing directly in front of you for 30 yards. Yeah. You know, your balance just feels a little bit off. Um, it could just be something like that. But Rira Suzuki's best clean jerk, 111. She did that this year at the Asian Championships where she got that 194 total, which put her way up into the top 10 in the world. So Riker here at 104. We'll see if she comes out and takes this. Her nope, best is 111. Moving. Yeah, she's moving as well. Wow. They're really pushing each other, these two U.S. athletes. I mean, that's the fighting spirit, even though she's quite a way behind in the snatch. She's still going to push Jordan. They've both now got 106 in. Going to fight till the bitter end. Here's Ching Jing Lin. Second attempt, 104. Three kilo jump for her. And... Uh, as we, uh, as we kind of worried it was going to happen, Cambe's had to rush, apparently, in the back room. She just made 100 kilos. She'll likely be out in uh, one or two attempts time. Yeah, watch for the hips here. She does get up a bit crooked, landed on the toes yeah. there. Yeah. Taking your time. Wow. wow. That front foot that she steps out so far. Yeah, that was an incredible <laughs> split. It's aggressive. I mean, when you see the bottom of that dip, it yeah. almost looked like, you know, she wasn't going to make that. But yeah. what a big split to get under that bar. I think I've heard you say it before, this expression, moving through molasses. That's what it looks like. It's like she's moving through glue at the bottom of that dip. It's just so slow. Yeah. You think, how on earth? You've lost your stretch reflex. How are you going to drive this high enough? The answer is she's not. She's just going to split really, really <laughs> far. 
This side yeah. angle should really... Oh, there we go. A little cut from the director. Thanks for that. But sh that front foot, she just sends it so yeah. far out. She has one more attempt, so hopefully we'll see the fight once more. 104 now. And Ramos has just been flawless till now. Three for three in the snatch. First two clean and jerks successful. Conservative two kilo jumps the whole way. 104. A little bit tougher clean, but that jerk is so powerful. Oh, just yeah. misses it. Well, that's the limit for her today, but still an exceptional uh, day for her. Five for six. Yeah. All very strong looking lifts. So I believe that Ramos has just put herself into an Olympic slot. She's on, she's on 186. Yeah, she's right there on the edge. 188. For sure. 188. I mean, right now that puts her in at number nine. She's just bumped uh, Jessica Hernandez from Mexico out of the top 10. For those wondering, the top 10 will go to Paris at the Olympics next summer. So everyone's trying to get in the top 10. You need to be over 180. F you need to be uh, over 187 now, actually, uh, to get in. And she's just gotten herself into that top 10 position. Yeah, I would not be surprised. I think we've talked about this before, but 190 is probably going to be the cutoff there, assuming that uh, not too much else changes. Yeah. Now, Kambe... Apparently forced to rush in the back room. She had 104 written in. She had to bump up to 105 yep. to avoid coming out early. This is one kilo under her best. Huge opener for her. I did see her hit 100 kilos in the training hall three days ago. Looked very good. No, actually 95, so it's a big jump. Okay. A really strong jerk. Yeah, that's yep. okay. She's looking good. Yeah, this is a very, very solid opener. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. That's huge. Absolutely. 105. She's in a great spot now with a yeah. 195 total here. Yeah, we'll see what she can do. So she's going head to head, really, with Cambao there. Well, I say head to head. I mean, let's not forget, Jordan could definitely be looking to try and sneak a bronze here. Yeah, I mean, I think... She, actually, she, Jordan's in a very strong position for a bronze medal. Exactly. Yeah, I think this is a a, a, <laughs> it's a multi-front a multi -front battle here yeah. for sure. Jordan is definitely looking to secure a medal in the total. She's got a great... I mean, she's got a very good clean and jerk, and she's snatched yeah. well. 88's very big. She certainly has a chance to, to move ahead of Cambe. So Haley's now bumped up to 107. 107. Wow. That's going to bring out Jordan now. I wonder if she'll take this 106. You know, we've seen her open heavier than this. Yep, she's moving up. Goes to 7 as well. So we're looking at 49 kilo session here. Five athletes opening at 106 or more. This is a very deep session. Yeah. Yeah, all now 107. Now the question becomes who's the first to take this 107? Yeah, we've got four athletes on it. Two ath three athletes at 106, four at 107. And then we have the two Chinese athletes with 112 and 113 written in. It's going to be Inan. Three kilo jump from her made opener of 103. Yeah, squat jerked it as well. Looked to be one of the best squat jerks we've seen. Very comfortable. Yeah. With that one, what she's a up. fight! Incredible stuff. I mean, that she's that looking lightheaded. She yeah. was providing upward pressure for a long time that in that fight. Take something out of you yeah. for sure. 
Incredible. Wow. I mean, does she have much more in there? I'm not sure, to be honest. That's uh, that's a pretty maximal looking lift. There's more in the clean. She made that look very nice, but the jerk is so tough. Yeah, we don't see a lot of athletes grinding through a, a, a squat jerk. So, so Jordan well. just made 103 in the back room. Haley's done 105. Perhaps they are going for. I mean, uh, I could maybe see they're looking her, at American records. Yeah, I could see her going for that. If she, takes, if she takes more than the 107 here, she goes for for something like a 108 opener. You know, it gives her a chance to push that clean and jerk really high. Now watch the split on this third attempt. Well, before that, watch the dip. Yeah, let's. The yeah. bottom of the dip is almost is just a standstill. Let's see if she gets there. Oh, Only just grinds through the clean here. Oh my what? word! Oh, it's so oh. close. She needs to get out the way. And she does hops out of the bar. She what? was uh, she was under that, yeah, under that split. I thought she had it. Absolutely athletic move yeah. there. She dips, and the bottom of that dip, it's like time stands still. She's going nowhere. Then out of seemingly thin air, she gets the bar up off her shoulders, and that split is wild. I hope we get a replay of that. People talk about speed and weightlifting being how quickly you pull under the bar, but it's also the speed that you can move your legs. Yeah. I mean, she. Step that front foot out at lightning pace. Yeah, that was incredible. So, so close. It's, it's Haley up first. 107 here for Reichert. This is a big, big lift for her. Big opener. I Enormous. don't know if she's opened this heavy before. No, this is four kilos under her best. I can imagine she's thinking about 110, 113 American record third attempt. Very, very smooth, super efficient yeah. lifter. Wow, yeah. strong jerk. You're, you're right, there's just no wasted energy. Yeah. She's done 120 plus in the jerk yeah. in training. So, you know, if she can make that clean, she can be very dangerous but Doesn't she have a, something like a 120 front squat? And yet she can, 125 or something quite low. Yeah, I don't know what and it yet is, she but can jerk it. super efficient. You know, but the problem there is, is if anything is just off a little bit, it's so hard to grind through them. Bizarre um, feelings, I imagine, in the back room with the USA staff. Yeah. You know, you've got the two personal coaches who are very much competing against each other. But then with Pyrrhus and Mike Catone looking after both athletes, it's interesting. How do you prioritize one over the other? Yeah, well, you know, it's tough. Do you? If one's going for a medal or a better Olympic spot, do you? Ditch the other. Here's 107 opener now for Jordan. Good clean. Ooh. 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 Shaky jerk. Yeah, yeah mm. she was pressed out on her left arm as well. Unexpected there. That clean was pretty comfortable, but unexpected on the jerk. Yeah. You know, she's struggled recently in the clean and jerk. Opening at these weights, you know, these heavy weights like that, 107, 108. Yeah, absolutely. But and she's so powerful. She's done very big clean and jerks, obviously. I hate to have to bring it up, but it's happened once before where she opened up very heavy. It was the Olympic Games. It was 108 True. there. And uh, she got stuck in a cycle of having to follow herself, and she, she missed all three lifts. Yeah, luckily she's got quite a bit of a buffer here. Yeah. There's several more attempts in between. This is the opening attempt now for Kambao of Thailand. Kambao made some very strong snatches, ending at 88. Very fast turnover. Oh, yeah. Kind of a rough dip there. Mm. The bar almost rolled off her shoulders, it looked to be. Yeah. That pull is so slow off the ground, but then from the hip to the shoulder is just lightning speed. Yeah, such a such a long torso. Looks pretty happy with it, though. Yeah. 
So that puts her in at 194 kilos. The leading total right now is Mahela Kambe at 195. She has 107 written in, which will be her next lift. She'll be the... Oh, she's bumped she's to bumped 108 up. now. Yeah. That's going to bring out De La Cruz at 107. You'd think she'd come out for this. She's not going to want to waste such a strong 88 kilo snatch. Yeah, you know. She just needs to get a total in at this point. She's really just got to try to build that total. I mean, yeah. she's in the lead, and as far as qualifying for the Olympics, she's probably going to be safe there in yeah. her position. So I guess she does have the ability to do whatever she wants here, but I would think 107 get on the board. You know, it's a smell. No, she's moved up, it sounds like. So Inan, wow. who made 106, is actually in the back room crying right now. She's hurt her elbow. Oh, no. So whether or not she comes out for that third attempt at 109, I'm not so sure, unfortunately. Yeah, that squat jerk was just a grinder on the recovery. Zhang Hui Hua, who has the heaviest opener written in at 113, is still only at 65 kilos. But here comes Rira Suzuki now. Bizarre sort of mishap on her opening attempt. Just pulled the bar forward and bounced just right out of the hole and lost it. Perhaps this explains her larger four kilo jump here to make up for that that mess up on her opener. Good clean. Oh, wow. Yeah, very comfortable. She had more. Yeah, it has to be a little bit a little bit bitter about that, right. missing that first clean. Yeah, 111 is her best, but she gets a total in. She's I mean, she's in the top 10. She doesn't yeah. really need to worry about Olympic selection right now. Yeah, put herself in a great spot. Yeah, very comfortable 187 total for Rira Suzuki. Well, so now now is the interesting question. What does Kambe take here? I think she takes this. She's got 108 on the board. Let's build the total, get herself up to She has a comfortable 198. She'd be 90 kilo yeah. snatch here, so she doesn't need to go huge on this second attempt. This would be a very smart lift for her. Yeah, she'd yeah. force some big a big personal best from Kambao to move ahead. She'd yeah. she'd force Jordan to go pretty big as well on her second attempt or third. You know, she's probably also looking for, I mean, possibly a medal in the clean and jerk. Mm. She's got an incredibly strong jerk. It all comes down to the clean for her. Go forward, yeah. she recovers. Uh, oh, surprising there. Yeah. Huge drive, a lot of speed in the split, but just did not have the timing. No. Bar went behind her and did not have the lockout. Yeah. Sometimes, you, you know, you see some in the training hall and they just look, they look to be on another level, but she's not having the best day. I mean, at 90 kilos, it's a great snatch. It's not her best. Well, she opened aggressively. Yeah. You know, she's, she's taking shots at big weights yeah. here. Uh, and, you know, if these were seconds or thirds, she might look a little bit right. better. But, That's true. you know, she's struggling because she's opening so heavy. Yeah, that left elbow just didn't lock out. She looks frustrated like she knows it was a, a silly error. Well, here's the that question. That hop forward is just, it's tough in the clean that yeah. she does. We've got kind of a traffic jam here yeah. at 108. Reichert's got 107. She's got 108. She's going to move up, of course. 108 now would bring out De La Cruz. We also have Kambao who's waiting to steal somebody's minute. Jordan yep. needs to make this because if she doesn't, yeah, she'll have a clock stolen. She'll drop be. down to one minute rest. She's a very competent clean and jerker here. 108's big still. She hasn't made one yet. Oh, Let her clean. Fun. Yeah. It oh. looks to be better. A little, a little wobbly there, but yeah. she's got it. Yeah, I think she's going to get... Good. Yeah, three white lights. Good, yep. good. Okay, so she's she's on the table. What is that? 88, 108. That's 196. Yep. Her she's best right now in this qualifying period is 198. So she'd need 111 to extend her lead above Haley. I assume she's, she's probably going to do that. That's probably what she's going to go for. So Kambe taking 108 here would, you know, potentially fend off De La Cruz. Yeah. If she doesn't but make, and it's going to hopefully fend off yeah. Kambe, if she doesn't make this, her chances of that bronze well, here's the basically question. disappear. If 
does Kembe want to be in the driver's seat? Does she want to go for this 108 and leave it up to everybody else? Or is she going to ask for 109 here and maybe push everyone? Nope, she's taking it. I think she needs to take yeah, it. it would, it yeah, it wouldn't have been a smart move. That no. last one was not as strong as uh, you'd like. No. I mean, the pull is strong and the stand is strong, but because of that jump forward, it just makes things a yeah, little bit tougher. Saps your leg strength. And, you know, the Romanians, they're known for their snatches, not so much their cleaner jacks. Well, not so much their jacks. Oh, oh that jump forward yep. is just too much. Yeah, that's not going to work. What a shame. Mahela Kambe. Unfortunately, you know two it, for six, 90 in the snatch, it, 105 in the clean jack. As of right now, though, it looks to be that Jordan may Jordan can the do total this. here. Yeah, you know, Kambao is definitely going to be looking to, to move pass ahead. Jordan. She might even bump to 110, depending on what happens with Jordan's next attempt. So I would imagine Reichert's going to take a bigger jump than yeah. the two kilos. She really has nothing to lose here. I think 110 and then to 113 for the record. Yep, that, that's what I would think. Yep, she's moved up as well. So Hu Ji Hui just hit 95 in the back room. Zhang Hui Hua, 85. So 109, Kam Bao, if she takes this, she'll move, she'll be even with Jordan. She snatched 87, Jordan did 88. What's Zhang Hui Hua got that? I think 88 look like. Now she's going to take this to tie up with De La Cruz. Yeah, this is a... Uh, I guess they're expecting to make third attempt, so she's yeah. just... It's a conservative play. It's a smart play. She's now another athlete in the top ten. Athletes are falling out of the top 10 very quickly as new en athletes enter right now. Wow, so slow off the floor like you mentioned. Ooh. Uh, this has proven to be a... It's a tough weight yeah. for sure. You know, once again, Max, that 200 kilo total is proving to be the uh, the separator of gold and silver and the rest. You know, 200 is a monumental is number at yeah. 49 kilos. I don't know if people realize how big that is. Yeah. You know, you've got to snatch very, very well. And, you know, even for snatching 90, still a 110 clean mm. and jerk is, is huge at 49 kilos. I and mean, as we're seeing right here. You know, Kamba actually won the world championships back in uh, 2021. China not present that year, of course. And she uh, she hasn't won anything since, but she does have a 200 kilo total. So I think we're going to see pocket. De La Cruz steal that clock. Yeah, she should do. Her name's been called. Yep. She's so going to jump. Cam is going to take the 109. But if Cam Bao. I assume she'll do 111, right? Yep, that's yeah. what she's done. She's yeah. moved to 111. Cam Bao could possibly bump to 10. That would bring out Riker if she wants the time. I'm not sure if the extra kilo would really have a big of an effect on her. We'll see, though. You know, a lot of these athletes don't necessarily need that extra rest. Mm -hmm. They're not that big, so they're not really, you know, in need of a huge amount of time to recover. It's not like the supers. Yeah, I think she's coming out for it. So this would only tie her up with De La Cruz, which right. would put her behind De La Cruz. This does not really give her a position in the medals. No. But it it basically guarantees her Olympic spot. Yeah. I mean, 194 she's on now. I can't imagine there's any world where that's not, but yeah. another two kilos and she's she's really golden. Such an aggressive turnover. Uh, the bar's always a bit forward in the jerk. But this time... Powerful lockout yeah, there. This time she steps through. So much authority on that yeah, lift. Yeah, that's a brilliant lift. Oh, man, you almost wonder why she didn't go for the 110. Yeah, 110, that, you know, that could be a bronze medal lift. Yeah. 
that one was was there for sure, but you know she's tied now with Dela Cruz. So and two more athletes still to open though. Oh, the battle between these two Chinese athletes: Hu Ji Hui at 112, Zhang Huihua at 113. The world record 119. That's that could be going down today, Max. I mean, they both look strong enough to do it in the snatch. You have to imagine that Mirabai, the uh, Indian world record holder, is currently sat somewhere watching this very apprehensively. Yeah. Here's Riker at 110. Very big second attempt. Ah. Yeah, it's just not her day today, yeah. unfortunately. She didn't snatch well. She knows that there's not really anything in it for her at this competition at this point you know she's too far behind to get a medal or overtake jordan yeah you know it's hard to muster that kind of energy to go under a bar like that she was waiting for a while as well but you what know. does she do now you know does she just try does yeah. she take it i mean does she pull out i, I mean, mean she's got a two minute clock no one no one's gonna drop down to take that from her i don't she, think yeah, she's got two minutes to so to change her mindset it's I, yeah. it, it's maybe the hardest thing to do in weightlifting is to miss like that and then and then make a lift. Yeah, I mean, it's the sport is so mental. Yeah. You spend so much time training in the gym, perfecting your technique, building as much strength as you can, but, you know, the thing that puts it all together is, is between the ears. And once that turns against you, it's so hard to turn that around. Mm -hmm. Word from the back is that Zhang Huihua is making her lifts look a little bit easier than Hu Ji Hui. Okay. Hu Ji Hui's made 100 twice. Zhang Huihua is up at 103. But they've both cleaned and jerked enormous numbers. Hu Ji Hui's best at 117. Zhang Huihua's is 118. That was actually a, a personal best for Huihua in the snatch at 95. Her best was 94 before this. Well, it looked casual. Yeah, it did. <laughs> it was a very easy yeah. lift. Love to know what some of these athletes have made in training before. You know, we can only we can only <laughs> we have can we only seen a hundred from Zhi Hui? I mean, it's possible, I mean, right? I mean, it wouldn't be impossible. Yeah, it wouldn't even be unlikely. No. So Haley's gonna she's gonna come out for it. This is huge. Yep. Just hats off to her for coming out and giving this another you know. go. This is being made right here before she even touches the bar. Yeah, absolutely. This is 12 kilos over double body weight. Now, you know, it's so hard to come back yeah. from that. Doing that on a heavy clean a and then coming back to go back under the bars, yeah. Yeah. it just requires something really, really unique to happen. Yeah, back to the drawing board, I think. Uh, for Haley and, and Dane there. Realistically, they'll probably make the trip to Doha, Qatar in December to try and get another yeah. competition in. Otherwise, there's only two left. But well, you know, if she goes to Doha, she gets a third The tough thing there is that she doesn't have a lot of time to train for it. You know, she might spend that time, you know, building up as much as she can yeah. and go to Thailand. And, and she'd have to skip American Open Finals, which yeah. may be a competition that she was planning on doing. So yeah. a lot goes into this decision. So now the battle for first and second is going to unfold as we thought. 111, she lowered her opener a kilo. I've got the wrong name on the board there, I'm afraid. That says Haley. There's actually an issue with the scoreboard at the moment. So this is Hu Ji Hui, the Olympic champion. Very strong over ball. so easily. Yeah. Right into yeah, the jerk. Yeah. No question. I'm not saying she's going to, but she could she could have a go at a world record today in the clean and jerk. We could see two shots at it, I think. Yeah, yeah. That wouldn't be that wouldn't be unheard of. So right now the the winning total in the world is two oh seven. That was from Zhang Huihua uh in Jinju actually at the Asian Championships just a few months ago. 207, that, that's the top total in the world during this quad. I assume both of them are going to move ahead of that right now. You know, we've almost forgotten De La Cruz here. She has a possible shot at a medal in the clean and jerk. Right. Currently 109. Uh, if we assume that Zhang makes her opener, which I think is a safe bet. She's asking for 112. This is going to... 
I believe. That would equal her American record. And give her a 200 total. Clean and jerk and total. Yeah. So maybe she'll go for 113. Or maybe yeah. she'll just look for the... I mean, if she... I think 112 is smart. It might not be the record, yeah. but it, it moves her another two kilos ahead of Haley yeah. for this Olympic battle. Yeah, it basically puts too much pressure on her. Okay, so this is the best clean and jerker in the world right now in this category. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So strong. You know, the Chinese, just they drill their jerks uh, like no other country does. I mean, they they can hang out in that split and just sit there and have a cup of tea. Yeah. The Chinese, if, if nothing else, they are incredibly strong. Yeah. Everything looks perfected. Everything looks trained. But they're strong and they're technicians. Yeah. They and just, how do you beat that? Yeah. It's, it's I mean, <laughs> you don't. No. That's why the they Chinese are the best. better than everyone and they're stronger. Yeah. So here's De La Cruz. Jordan. This is a big moment. Yeah. Uh, this will equal her American record in the clean and jerk and in the total. And it moves her up to 200 kilos for this Olympic quad. Yeah, this is a huge lift. 112 at 49. Oh, she's up with it. Yeah, great clean. This is it. Oh, Huge my word, jerk. Jordan De La Cruz has made it. She's going to walk home with a bronze medal in the clean and jerk for sure. A and bronze total. medal in the clean and jerk and in the total. Wow. Huge lift. Enormous lift there from Jordan. And you can just see how much it means to her and the team. Spencer Arnold, we've got Mike Gatone and Pierce Dimas. It's a very strong crew to have in the back room. Wow. What and a she lift. she extends her lead over Haley. 200 total here. Now... Is that her, has she meddled at the world level before? I don't think so. I don't think she's been uh, a total medal in the, right. in the world level here. You know, something to mention is we speak to these athletes before every competition. We ask them how training's been. And most athletes, it's very rare that they say it's been great. And Jordan often, you know, reflects the fact that things have been tough. But she did say before this one that training's been great. Yeah. She said it's the strongest year she's had in a long time. Well, it shows. And, yeah, and, and it's so great when an athlete says it and then they show it. Yeah, exactly. 88-112. Wow. Yeah, 200 kilos. And, yeah, this is her fourth world championship. She's never had a medal, even in a single lift. Yeah. And now she's just got a bronze in the total. 116, Hu Ji Hui. Huge lift here. Wow. Yeah. Right just into the jerk. Strong. Just incredible. You I know what, if you opened at 111 yeah. and you wanted to go for 120, you would take yeah, 116. Exactly. She's giving us all the right signs of world records I in, mean, in her eyes. We've got 118 next. Do we really? A six, one yeah. kilo. This is going to equal her best ever clean and jerk. It's one kilo under the world record. This, the thing about this. Attempt. So the thing about a 118 here is that it forces who to take 119 or 120. Yeah, she has to decide. She's going to have she, to what decide do I care which about. does she want to do. Do I want to move ahead of the world leader? Nope, they've both the gone world to 17 leader. now. Okay. Obviously, that's the smart so move what here. But if Zhang Huihua makes 17, who's Zhi Hui's not going to take 18? No. Because Hui Hua can make more. Yeah. She's going to have to go. I think we could she's see. She's going to go 20. She's going to go for 120. We're going to see a world record attempt here. Yeah, we could see a, one, uh, a world record forced here. Yeah. If all these lifts are successful. This is the heaviest second attempt in women's 49 kilo history. Yeah, this is gigantic. Hu Ji Hui has already moved up to 119, so she must feel confident that Hui Hua will make this. Otherwise, she'd have held on 117. Yep. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yep. Fair Solid enough. clean. Oh, my gosh. Right into it. Yeah. I mean, that split jerk is an, it's an unfair advantage to yeah. be able to move her feet and be so balanced like that. I mean, you are witnessing yeah. right now the strongest. Potentially one, yeah. The best 47 or 49 kilo, 48 kilo session we've ever seen. Yeah. Two athletes here. I mean, a 95 snatch is, is 
no it's small huge. lift. No, no. You know, the old world record being 98, we're within striking distance of some absolutely gigantic lifts. Let's not forget as well that, that what we just saw is a kilo under the world record total. Yeah. The world record total is 213. Two lifts still left, 118, 119. If either of these athletes make their next lift, they will set a new world record total. Yep. And depending on what they ask for, here we go. Someone has, someone's going to have to take so 120. She's, no, she, yeah, she's going to... She's going to equal the world record clean and jerk here. Make the total, though. But she'll get the world record total, and, and she'll force a world record clean and jerk and total attempt wow. by Hui Hua. What an incredible session this here. This is also a per I mean, of course, it's a personal best that equals the world record. I mean, she's never done this. We've never seen a total like this before. And two attempts remain. You know, for the viewers at home, we want to see this lift made, oh, so yeah. we are forced to a world record. And Hui Hua went for it last year at 120, and it looks like she's going to have to go for it again here. And she, she's stronger today. She's definitely stronger. What's going to happen? This ties the current world record clean and jerk, makes a new world record total. She's the Olympic champion. She's made all five lifts up till now. Very strong. This to beat her own world record total. Oh, and she oh, leaves she it out in front. Rushed into it, right into the jerk and missed. And so she remains not in the Olympic running right now. She's uh, not in the Olympic rankings because she hasn't moved ahead of Jiang Kui Hua. Only uh, one athlete per country can be in well, the rankings. They haven't Kui changed Hua has it. The, t the clock here yet. Oh, she's going to go for 120. Well, I'm wondering if there's a delay here. Sometimes this happens. They put this on. They put the weight on, and then the, the athlete changes, but we're not seeing a stop yet. She used to have the world record clean and jerk. She lost it. This is exciting. She, she wanted it last year again. She missed it. And yeah. this is... And you know what? The other thing is, she has to do better with her total to make it That's impossible true. for Hu Jihui to ever surpass her. Right, yeah, yeah. This is also a statement to the, the Chinese team. You know, I'm the one to take. Yeah. You took Hu Jihui last year, and she got the gold. Yeah. You know, but I can do better this time. Yeah, and they're so close. It's neck and neck. You've got to really separate yourself. Yeah. This is it. This is for everything. 120 kilos, world record clean and jerk. World record total. total. Yeah. This is just absolutely incredible. This is 22 kilos over double body weight. Oh, and it's tough, but she's going to grind her way out of it. Wow. Can she hold it? You're yes, watching she a master. Can. She is the greatest clean and jerker in 49 kilo women's history. She's the greatest weightlifter in women's 49 kilo yeah, weightlifting history. Two world records. Stunning performance. Six for six smashed all her snatches and ended on a world record clean and jerk, world record total. It's a weight she's dreamed for. And Max, yeah. in our first Olympic category of the World Championships, we've seen two world records. Humongous lifting here. If that is a sign of anything to come, this is going to be the World Championships that we've been dreaming of. Wow. Absolutely unbelievable. Jiang Hui Hua, 120 kilos. She went six for six. 215. I mean, we were talking about, oh, it if you can get 200, that makes yeah. you the best in the world, pretty much. Well, there and it she is. she did 215. 200 kilos was the mark. 200 yeah. kilos for bronze. Yeah. From Jordan. an American, Jordan De La Cruz. Absolutely stunning performance yeah. from her. 116 and then 120 to wrap this up. Phenomenal lifting. Yeah, absolutely incredible. The bronze medal, as you mentioned, to Jordan De La Cruz. 88, 112, 200 total. The silver medal to the Olympic champion. She went five or six. She needed the sixth lift. Well, in fact, she actually would have needed more than that. Hu Jihui, 95, 116, a 211 total. But the reigning world champion wins once more. It's Jiang Hui Hua from China, 95, 120, a 215 total, 6 for 6. The runner-up, who is the runner-up, is it? I think it's Kan Bao from Thailand, 87, yeah. 109, a 196 total. I mean, that session did not fail to... Uh, reach the expectations that we'd kind of put on it. We we bigged this session up and it, it really delivered. And Max, that was a tough rack. 
Yeah. And that 120. That was I mean, a hard she, clean. That bar landed on her. She paused and she still got up with it. And I said it before, but her jerk, it's an unfair advantage. It's yeah. too good. Yeah, she's just unstoppable. I mean, six for six day. Yeah. You just, you don't get better. You don't no. end. The only athlete to do it. And she, what's scary for Hu Ji Hui is Zhang probably could have also gone for a snatch world record. Yeah. So could Hu Ji Hui, but this is an athlete who can set every record in the book. Well, you know, we've seen this before. It's so difficult. Once somebody's in the front, you know, the underdog really having to muster up an enormous performance. And then if they're both at every single meet, it's, it's just such a challenge to catch that person in the front. I would be surprised if who can do that, but we'll see. It's a huge day, huge, huge session, really historic all around. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Just phenomenal stuff. Now we've got the medal ceremony coming up, but it's the men's 55 kilo session. I think that starts in just over half an hour. So we're going to be back for that. We'll keep this live stream going, of course, but from me and Max, that's going to be it. So thank you all for tuning. I hope you enjoyed this 49 kilo category. Enjoy the medal ceremony. And uh, we'll see you in half an hour for the men's 55s.